We steal the waves in the air and never give them back. You're listening to Pickering Unplugged. Lo-Fi Poli Sci coming at you with a special Monday edition of Pickering Unplugged. It's been a while since we've had a nice little conversation, taking a step away from the regular messiness of the world and simply focusing inward on ourselves. It's also that time of year for all of us. The end of the semester. Papers, presentations, exams before finals, and finals exams themselves. And I cannot stress enough how much I truly dislike and disagree with the very notion of final exams week. I mean, really, why don't they rename it to something more appropriate? Like, the week universities test you to see how far you can go before you have a mental breakdown. Or how about, we care about your mental health, just not this week. I mean, really, who came up with the idea of finals week? How long ago was it? And should we still even be doing it? And yes, I refuse to Google all those questions because I don't care about the answers. I mean, yes, there has to be a way to evaluate our performance in university classes. Sure. But does that also mean that it has to be done at the exact same time for all classes? Oh, and wait for it, Lo-Fi Nation, because you know we'll all be getting those emails soon. That go a little something like this. A guide to survive finals week. Eat well, sleep well, get some sunshine, have break time and social interactions, make schedule, meditate, yoga, oranges, rainbows, unicorns, long walks on the beach. Yes, 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 do all of these things and you'll navigate finals week successfully. And always remember to reach out early and often because we care. Oh, breathe. Okay, where to begin on this list? Except maybe just to say that the rainbows, unicorn, long walks on the beach? Well, that's me. What can I say? There's something relaxing to me when I'm walking on a beach with my unicorn and a rainbow appears. It's nice. And yes, I do indeed have a unicorn. Don't you? But sure, I think many of these things on this list are fine and can be very helpful. But if navigating finals weeks was as easy as that, then why do we all get stressed as hell? Why does it seem that sometimes none of these things work for us? Why does it seem like when people say reach out, They really mean, just follow the list and don't bother me. Hey, what about motivation? What about inspiration? What about the will to simply keep going? Where are those things on this list? What about self-confidence? What about self-worth? What about doubt and fear? Where are those things on this list? The one thing I find these lists always overlook is telling us how to overcome our greatest obstacle in life ourselves. This is one obstacle that no matter where we go, no matter what we do, no matter when we go to sleep, no matter when we wake up, we will always be there to get in our own way and to keep us from succeeding. So what do we do? Eat an extra orange? Take an extra walk? What do we do when we are our greatest challenge to overcome? Breathe. Breathe. Keep breathing. Don't stop breathing. Don't think. Just breathe. Calm. Peace. Tranquility. Breathe. Breathe with all of us. Each and every single one of us. We're breathing together right now. We're breathing as one. Because we are one. Just breathe. The we that we be breathes together. The we that we be are never alone. The person that you are, you are the we that we be. And that, my friends, you can take with you anywhere you go. And anytime you breathe, you're breathing with us. This is how we survive, not just finals week, but all hard times in our lives. We breathe together. Every breath we take in doubt, every gasp we take in tears, we breathe together. We overcome fear. We overcome doubt. We succeed because we breathe. Always remember that lo-fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Peace and well-being to all my human beings out there. Much love and always the best. Pickering signing off but not out.